Good morning, guys. It's like 10 of 10. Me and Steven are at the COVID testing spot just down the road from our house. I thought it was going to be further. Um, it's at a little town hall at the next town over. It's crazy now. All three of the kids have had this, but yet Steven and I haven't. <laughs> I got to stick it up my nose. Let's go see. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a Monday afternoon. It is about 1 p.m. Um, I totally forgot to pick up the camera today. Come on, Teddy. Come on. And um, But we have great news. Benjamin had to take another COVID test. He did it yesterday morning. And he we just found out his results. He's negative. And... So he can go back to school tomorrow, so he'll have seven days in person. Uh, so like I was saying, um, Emma still is in quarantine um, from today until Thursday. Last we heard Friday, she can go back to school, but I have to give her another COVID test because of her dance show on Saturday. They want her to be negative. So she's gonna need a rapid test on Friday. So I'm gonna have to go now, I just realized, and see if I can schedule that appointment uh, for Friday at like 9 a.m. Um, go do the rapid, maybe at my location. Um, they do the rapids there, which is literally three minutes down the street. So it is a pouring, raining day. Um, so yeah. Just a crappy, pouring, raining day. Um, so we are staying in. And, um. Oh, the garage is open. She must have came in. Our neighbors just had their baby uh, on the 12th. So they had third little boy and she's coming home today and I see the garage is open so maybe they went in um, through the garage so I won't be able to meet the little boy for a little while um, but I saw pictures but yeah that's about it good morning guys Tuesday morning I know it's a little loud here he's getting his ice for his water. Uh, he's off to school today. As you know, he's negative, so he gets to go in the building. So he's gonna, and his knee is doing fine. He's walking up to the bus in about five minutes or so. So. It is now 1.15. Emma's doing her work. Um, in another hour and like almost a half, Ben will be here. Um, pretty sure he knows to walk home from the bus and get on the bus. He took the bus to school, so he knows. Um, and I'm gonna go down in just a minute to um, add. Emma's gonna have two sh two tests. I was gonna say shots. Oh, that's what I gotta do. Find out when Ben's shot is for Friday. Emma's gonna have a test on Thursday and Friday for her dance show, that's what they're requiring. I don't know, it's a little weird. They're like, oh yeah, do a, a rapid on Friday, but a PCR on Thursday. The PCRs take 24 to 48 hours, so like we might not hear about it till Friday night, which is still fine because her show's not till Saturday at 11 a.m. But then if you're letting me do a rapid on Friday, why can't I just do a rapid? That came back for me and Steven within 10 minutes of me getting home, and I'm only like five minutes down the road, not even. So, I don't get it. It's more time out of school, Thursday morning and Friday. But, um, if that's what they want. And I believe Friday afternoon is Ben's last COVID shot. 
But now I gotta see if I can do that because Emma needs to go see her doctor, her pediatrician, to make sure her heart and stuff didn't get affected because she was positive for COVID, which stinks. And I guess they have to do that in order to like release her to go do her sports, which is dance. So, which is weird, it's just a recital. <laughs> like, she's healthy, so I'm pretty sure she's fine. Like, 99% she's fine. You know what I mean? Like, I'd be shocked if something were wrong. She's been a healthy girl. She is right now, sign, having no signs from COVID. I can't imagine her heart had something that went wrong. You know what I mean? But it's what they gotta do, so. Let me go and figure out what time is Ben's COVID shot. And make sure, like, cause if, maybe it's like for 2.45, so I can grab him right up the street from the bus when it gets here, bring them to the high school with, cause I need to take both of them with me. Emma will have to sit in the car for that. Well, it's on Friday. She'd be out of quarantine, so she could, but I'll just have her sit in the car. Then we'll take both of them again for Emma's doctor's appointment and he'll have to stay in the car because I think at doctors they only want like a parent and a child. So then we can do that because then after that, I want to go shopping for Father's Day um, I got Steven stuff, but he wants them to pick up some stuff, and he's got items that he wants, like some clothes and stuff he needs for the summer and for, like, Disney and stuff. So, um, we gotta go do that Friday evening. So, let's go check his time for his shot. Look at this. It is 3.30. He's been out of quarantine since yesterday, but yet he's still in his room after school. But um, I was just telling him, I says, go outside, do something. He just had a snack. He needs to get off his phone, mister. I'm going to have to cook dinner a little bit. I'll, um, I'm going to have some, like, tacos. I'll grill up some chicken. And uh, we'll do tacos. Emma's finishing up school. I need help with the word. All right. Words. Don't show my room, it's messy. Your room? Over there is not, over there is not. It's okay, you're fine. Alright, so I have to put away the kiwi from Emma's lunch. And throw this trash away. I'm going to be busy. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, so Thursday morning, I gotta go take Emma to a COVID test. Um, she'll be home doing virtual. I'll have to leave at 2.30, pick up Ben from the bus stop, run him to the high school to get his second and last shot for COVID. Um, and then Friday morning, go back and get another rapid test for Emma. And Ben says the cookout for him is tomorrow, so if it is, I'll switch it. Um, and then in the afternoon, when Ben comes home, um, I'm not sure if Emma's going to go into school, but for Friday, um, we'll see how long it takes for the rapid test to come back and then decide, because I'd have to dismiss her at like 2.45 to go to her doctor's appointment. So, oh, and then, see, here's the other issue is... Um, I gotta go to the market because I'm busy on Saturday, but we'll see. Maybe I can postpone it, but like, ah, oh, so busy because then Saturday's going to be ballet. She's in a show at 11 and then at 4 p.m. So, oh, that's right, and Sunday's Father's Day. Um, yeah, and so after the doctor's appointment on Friday, we got to go shopping, like I said, I think earlier. Um, so, busy, busy. Ben's going to be able to go back to hockey on Saturday morning. And it'll be officially three months until Disney. Can't wait. That's why once a month I've been trying to do a Disney spread in the planner. I'm trying to get back to recording maybe like one a month. i got to start doing that maybe this summer. So let me show you where's the... Did I do one in May? Like I said, I tried to. Yes, we just did Finding Nemo because um, our hotel room is going to be inspired by Finding Nemo. Um, let me see. April. Did we do one? 
no, April was too busy with Emma's birthday. Um, let's see. So then here we got one in March. Cute one. And then the Mickey one at the end of February. And then let's see if we did one in January. Yes, I did Pooh Bear. So each month I do a Disney one. Alright guys, I'm in my pajamas. I'm sitting here, I'm watching some TV for this evening. And uh, we just sold the blue Dodge. It is done with. We didn't get as much as we wanted for it, but we needed it gone. Good morning, guys. It's Wednesday morning at almost 10.30. Emma is here. She has a break a little bit. She got her work done. So I'm just having her clean up a little bit. I needed to just clean off her desk. Not much going on this week because, you know, Emma being in quarantine, Ben had just been in quarantine, and we're not doing too much. Alright guys, it's already 11, but I forgot I wanted to show you. I started making a list last night of um, today, which is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, just so I kind of make sure I know I need to do these things. So I've got a busy end of the week so with today um just things that i wanted to try to get done and things that are happening like ben has drums um yeah so i already cleaned off my kitchen table which i didn't write down but it needed to be done i got emma started packing for camp right here so i can cross that off check it off i should say um, I wrote down call the dentist, but I don't know if I'll get to that today, but I'll make sure I get it done <laughs> soon. It's been on the list for quite some time. Um, ben has drums today virtually because Emma's in quarantine and I didn't feel like taking her, I mean, leaving her alone. Um, I want to call Girl Scouts about patches if I can get those and I'll pick them up one day next week. But I also need to call Girl Scouts to find out what I owe for camp for Emma, for summer camp. Um, it says to clean off the fireplace. I have all the stuff from doing Emma's special memory book, which the black one is going to be for Ben. I haven't started it. The plan was to start it once they're out of school, so I'm still fine with that. I haven't gotten, there's just a picture I need of Ben when he was a newborn. I have some in my scrapbooks that I've already scrapbooked, but I don't want to pull that out. So I'm going to have to see if my mom has some that she might not have scrapbooked as well um, and figure that out. But that'll be um, probably sometime next week at the end once they're out of school. I'll do that. So what I want to do is just bring this all downstairs. I thought maybe I should keep it up thinking I would work on it, but I haven't had the chance. So I know in the summer I'll probably go downstairs and work on it. So that way if the kids are up playing video games and whatever, I don't want him to see me doing it at the kitchen table. So if I'm downstairs, there's a lot less chance he'll come running down and see it. You know what I mean? He knows about it, but I don't want him to see it. So, um... So that needs to get moved downstairs a few trips um, and I'll have to like reorganize that back into my desk and stuff. So that needs to get done. I want to go find, make sure I know where Emma's recital makeup is because that's probably downstairs and then I want to probably after um, when Steven gets home, put out the graduation sign that they made for Ben because it was like through the pandemic. They made a nice sign and it doesn't have like her picture, his picture or his name. It just says, a, uh, you know, a, a child in this house graduated from that school, which will be her. So um, her graduation is next week on Tuesday. So I want to get that up today. And, um, that's it for today. I'm probably not going to Aldi today. 
Um, and yeah, I really need to go and call Girl Scouts right now. All right, guys, I'm really excited. Um, Emma is going to camp for free. She had enough cookie credits from last year because pandemic, and they let us use them for this year and this year's, and she's going for free. Well, really, all we had to pay was the deposit of like 30 bucks, so not bad. Um, so I did that. They have a patch, but it's more like a veterans, it says. But, I mean, we put flags out for the veterans. So I'm going to look online. Sometimes you can find some um, patches or maybe even cheaper um, online that people sell. So I'm going to look, and then even if I order them, I have till July 12th before our ceremony. So I'm going to look and do that. And then, what else? I've got to go get her makeup downstairs. And, um, and then maybe call about a dentist. We'll see. Alright guys, it's 3.30. Ben is home. He's going to have drums in about a half an hour, virtually. Earlier I said, you know what? I'm going to make some chocolate chip cookies. I had that bag of chocolate chunks from Dollar Tree. This one here got a little burnt. See, and I knew that this cookie sheet was going to do that to them. But I made two other batches. We had a few already. And um, they're right here. And then I got one more sheet in the oven. It's going in a minute. So, and then tonight I'm just making pasta for dinner. Um, Wednesdays has been our busy night, but now it's about to be done because this would have been Emma's last Wednesday of dance class because Saturday is her show so in a little bit I need her to come out here and practice her dances because she hasn't had class now I'm like last week and the week before she would have had class so it's been a while so I want her to make sure she's ready for her dance show so when Ben's doing drums I'll have her here and I believe I saved the email that they sent of the video all right so Ben's doing drum lesson and is practicing her dance <laughs> for her show in her room. I just had her um, after school, sorry I'm fixing my rings, um, go through this bucket here of all her Bobby stuff that was here. And as you see, we put them in Ziploc bags and we got a few other like bigger items. Um, and so she has to decide, I think she said she's done. Oh, like this here is a few um, Shopkins that are downstairs. We can go bring those down. Oh, and then her mini brands she wants. Um, so we're going to probably just sell the, um, the little, maybe she wants these. I had gotten her those for the Valentine's, no, Easter. I think there's another one in there. Here it is. I had gotten these at Dollar Tree. I thought she'd like cat and a dog. So we'll see what she decides. Maybe this summer she'll want to play Barbie. Um, but if she can have it a little bit more organized and not so much stuff. I feel like she was overwhelmed, so that's what we're trying to do too. And I just got her makeup earlier today ready for the dance show. It's in here, most of it I want to use. And then this is her play makeup and stuff. But she hadn't been doing it for a while because she was making a mess, so I brought it downstairs. So those are the rest of the cookies that we got last. So like I said, I didn't make tons. We each had two. Me, Ben, and Emma. This was a bed she had made for Barbie, and I want to see if we can refix it for her. Um, I'm really happy Teddy's been using the bed now that I've been putting it here. Why does it, like, do that? It's, like, uneven or something. Yeah, like it goes up on one end. It's weird. I don't know why it does that, but he'll, he'll lay on it surprisingly, which I'm really happy for him. There he is. He just got up from the couch, huh? Waiting for Daddy to come home. I'll have to see when he's coming home. And then I'll make some pasta. A light. <sighs> he goes and he waits for Daddy at the top of the stairs. See, Daddy? He does wait for you. When he knows it's around that time. 
All right, so I'm gonna check off Ben's doing his drums. We remembered. I'm actually in the process of cleaning up the fireplace. If you see, I've only got a few more buckets to take down and a pile of stickers and scrapbook paper and a pile of washi, so I'll probably go put that down soon. I figure before I go to bed, as long as that's all cleared up, I'll be happy because this summer I'll be working on Ben's downstairs. And then if I want to, I'll bring up what I need, the supplies for like maybe two pages and then work on that and then just be done and then bring the book downstairs so um yeah that'll probably be a couple more chips down once he's done drums i don't want to disturb him and he gives me a headache I did it without when i'm down there oh. all right so it's five o'clock daddy just get in even yeah so i had bought for pasta night this week i bought the mini farfalli the high set and I wanted to try this, and last time Steven was with me, and he was like, oh, I'm not having that. Well, I want to try it, so I'm going to cook this up for me, um, which is pasta with, made from chickpeas, which maybe would be a better brand type for me, and even Steven. It's lower in sugars, but let's see, the carbs. It is lower in carbs, but not much, but it's a little bit, so we'll see how that does for me if I can handle the taste. They say it's pretty good. So I will let you know. And it's got 23 grams of protein, eight grams of fiber, so. And it's only 3.5 ounces, so. Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday morning. It's just about 8.15. Emma has her first, well, really it's her second, but the first of this week, uh, COVID test. This is the PCR one with the K through 12 and teachers division, I guess we would say. Um, they don't do rapid. Her dance studio wants, I guess, two tests. Today, a PCR, they take 24 to 48 hours. So, like, it could come back by Saturday morning. Um, and tomorrow, we're doing a rapid. So, I don't get why we have to do today. But that's what they wanted. So... Tomorrow she's allowed back to school, but we're going to go for her rapid at 9. And it's literally like two minutes down the street with driving. Like, not even two minutes. Yeah, maybe two minutes. Um, so we come back. when I, I did mine there on Sunday, this past Sunday. And I got home, like, literally not even ten minutes later, and I got my results. So as soon as she gets her results, she's negative tomorrow morning. I'll drop her off at school because... I have to go food shopping, and um, the only downside would be is if she's not negative, then she stays home, and she can't go to the recital, and then I'll be fighting that out, but um, I think she's probably negative. She's done her quarantine. Um, she had no symptoms. I can't imagine it lasting all this time. They say it, it mustn't, so she should be fine, so... That's what's happening today. Um, she has to stay home, do school. So when we come back from the test, I'm going to guesstimate with the driving. This one's a little bit further. We should be home by 930. Um, and then she'll do her school. And what else is happening today? That's about it. I got stuff to do. I have a list. And, uh, yeah, Ben's already went to school. It's probably on the bus. She picked out a dress today, and it looks beautiful. I didn't know what to wear. You didn't know? Well, that looks beautiful, and it's comfy. I like to wear another summer dress. Um, She's showing me what I'm trying to eat. Yep, that's what I do. And I don't eat because she's bothered. All right, All right guys, so here is the to-do list for today, June 17th. Emma's COVID test, Ben's, oh, that's right, that's what else. Ben's COVID shot, his vaccination, his second one is at 4 p.m., at the high school, so we'll leave at like 3.45. Emma would have to stay here. Um, I have finished making the market list. I realized last night I do have to tweak it um, because tomorrow night um, I'm not going to do this recipe because I'm taking the kids at like 2.45 and I won't be back till like late dinner time and Steven has to go somewhere um, and I'm just not going to say it's just something that's personal, and I don't want to say where he's going. Um, 
but it'll have to be, I don't know, we might do like grinders. I was supposed to do that one day this week and then we ended up not. So I'll tweak that later today. Um, call to make Teddy's um, haircut appointment for probably like one, one day next week, maybe like Thursday or Friday. And call for my certification test. Um, the money we got from selling my Dodge, I'm going to use to sign up for the test. That'll be perfect. Uh, it wasn't as much as we would have liked to get for the car, but hey, at least it'll help me get my certification test. So that's all I wrote down for today. Um, I'm trying to see if anything for like yes, tomorrow, but not really. That'll have to be tomorrow. Um, and then... Yeah, that's about well, what I could do. I could put down, um, no, I'll be fine with that. So that's about it. I'm just waiting now to blow dry my hair, and I'm going to be ready. We're going to leave here around 8.40. It's now 10 of 10. We came back. We got here about between 20 past and 25 past 9. Um, so I just came back up. I was downstairs. I had to wrap some gifts. Um, maybe Emma's ballet show is Saturday. Um, that's what that bag is. And then for her graduation on Tuesday. This is the next bin. Yesterday I had her go through the, like, furniture and the all the extra stuff she had in another bucket for Barbie. This is like clothes and some are really in good shape, some are not. And we're gonna get together what's good. I'll put like the fancy dresses together that she had just gotten last year, I believe. Like see this pretty one right here, they get Velcroed together. Um, we have a lot of pretty dresses and then some that are meant for certain characters. We'll try to get them dressed up like descendants and stuff like that. Um, cause she's done with Barbie. So I got that for her to go through later when she's having lunch and has like recess time. She can do that with me. Um, this is here for her teacher that she can bring maybe on Tuesday cause it'll be graduation. Um, I'll talk to her. Maybe she wants to get something to put in this mug. And then this is just like a little trinket box that she can put on her desk with like paper clips or what have you. Um, so this is the bag and tissue paper for that. And then I had, well, my mom had gotten these in a Michael's, um, what do they call that, grab bag. Um, and I had three of them, two of the same. So I figure for definitely for Ben to take to his summer camp, because he'll be sleeping over for the week, Monday to Saturday, first week of July. And then Emma, but she'll only be sleeping over on Thursday night, but... Even if she wants to keep it here for the beginning and then on Thursday take it with her and um, or take it with her and then if she has like a, a free time she could write in it each day. Um, yeah, they were part of the grab bag so like to me like pretty much free because you get so much, you know, for that price. So yeah, that's what I did so far. I'm going to go and check off and then I, oh and I also rearranged my room which I did not have on my list to do today. But I got it done as soon as I came home. Okay, so checklist for today. Emma had her shot. No, her test. Ben's going for a shot today. Um, Alright, so I gotta go call for Teddy's groomer appointment. And call about my test. Or look up online first about my test. I like to write in what I did. So I, uh, I'll say organized my room. Okay. Hey guys, so it's 6 o'clock. Steven just got in. We're going to cook the chicken and the potatoes on the grill. And then I'll just microwave some veggies. I'm going to now try to finish cleaning up this fireplace. And bring all this stuff downstairs. Um, in just a few minutes, Ben's going to be cutting the front lawn. Um, for Father's Day. And then on Saturday, he'll have time to do the back. Um, that way, you know, we'll probably be eating a late dinner. Usually we eat around 5, 5.30, but I felt like grilling tonight with the chicken, so. So 
here's the mom again. The other babies had left, and now she's got new ones. Stephen saw the eggs. If you can see here, there's a baby right in front of her, and one behind her. Yeah, I can see the babies. Just checking out your babies. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, let's go see Ben. He's cutting the grass. He's gonna cut the grass in the front. Oh, he's starting, I guess, down the other end. We sold my Dodge, so this is the spot it was in for three months or so. So he's over here, starting up. Look at this, poor Emma, she has to eat by herself. This is her last night. Eating hopefully all by herself. Tomorrow morning she better be negative. She better be. Oh! Do you need more something on your potato? Sour cream? No. No? Alright, eat up. Alright, so I'm back from the market. It's 11.25. Um, I got stuff for Father's Day. And our weekly stuff. I just put away the fridge and just a few of the cupboard things. Um, I was able to get me for only 98 cents and it's a good quality pill container. It's in purple. They had different colors because I'm going to need this to keep in my Disney purse. But when we go to Disney, um, I'll put like my morning and my dinner. And then that way it, when I do like, you know, being in the hotel, um, I'll remember like oh I took my morning and then like if I didn't take my morning I'll take it like late morning and then at dinner so this will be good to put in my purse so I'll probably go now and put that in my purse just in the Disney purse and then when I go to pack it I'll be like oh let's fill up my pills so the past few hours they were up the hill and now they're in front of us me and my neighbor has been talking the one with the new baby um, well through messaging so Steven said, yeah, they're probably ripping up the road right now. See, and then it's whatever's coming up. See, see what's coming up and out, if you can see it. It's going in the dump truck. Ah, oh, smells. I wish they would have pre-warned us. This is done by National Grid. My neighbor called. We thought it was the town. Oh, yeah, they're ripping it all up. Wonderful. And I got to leave in 45 minutes, so keep it going. So I gotta get my car out of the driveway. Holy moly's. Can you hear it? Poor Tiffany with their new baby. She's probably gonna wake him up. Oh my my. wonders about this. Like, I gotta leave in a little while. Crazy! I see 
over here it says road closed with that orange sign. You better hurry up. Oh, Alex is home. So it's like 3.30. We just got in. Ben is waiting in the car. Um, we're in a shady spot and uh, the windows are down and the car is still running. So um, we're here for her check, for see how she's doing since the COVID. But you know, crossing our fingers, she's all good. She's a healthy girl, so there should be no problems. Doctor should be in shortly. We'll give you a checkup in a little bit. Check up. <laughs> we'll let you know what happens. We are all good. Thumbs up, Emma. I'm tying my shoe. <laughs> Thumbs up. She's all good. Nothing's wrong. Big. So, but it's better to be checked, you know. All right, now we're going shopping for Daddy. Yeah, we're going to Walmart. I like stores. Yep. Go over there. We're walking. So we got Daddy some stuff for Father's Day. <laughs> All right, kiddos, behave. We still got to go look for citronella plants after, and I'm trying to think if there's something else we should get them. Um, we got them a bunch of tank tops, two shorts. Could we get them anything at, for, like, Disney, like, soaps, something? What? Daddy needed like something that. for Disney. No, we're going to have to get that now. call me dad. My favorite people call me dad. What else have they got? Dad. Dad. Fishing, golfing, grilling. No, that's not no, my favorite kid bought me this shirt. <laughs> that's not good. No. Yes. <laughs> World's greatest papa. But we got papa stuff. Dad joke chip. <laughs> I want this one. My favorite kid bought me the shirt. Yeah, but that means he thinks you're a favorite kid. I don't like that. Okay. I don't like that. Um, I'm trying to think if we should look for something else. Should we look at um? Hurry, guys. So we are home. I just made the kids their sandwich. I made mine. I'm gonna have it with. Some mini sweet peppers with a little thing of hummus. I have like one of those little cups. And then I had gotten this morning the bags of chips. I think I'm gonna grab a Dorito. Maybe I'll do the ranch Doritos. They're in there. Let's see. And uh, I'm gonna go sit down at the coffee table, eat my dinner, put on the TV, and relax. Oh, and then after I eat, I gotta go switch the laundry for Ben and his clothes. 